Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Salt Two Shores of Gold, where today we are back over here at the Marauders Guild for us to, ha oh boy, turn in the embalming agent that we picked up in the last episode. Oh, uh, those catacombs were interesting and a little confusing, but we got through it in the end and did get the very morbid thing we're going to use to reveal this invisible ink and hopefully, I assume, head into that cave over there. So let's head on down to Victor and hand over the just well, very macabre material that we've got on ourselves and see where it does take us next. Boy howdy, I really hope it is into that cave and not to yet another far off island. <laughs> We'll find out. We'll find out. In we go. Hello, Victor. How are you? Let's talk. Ah, I see you have the embalming agent. Good work. Now, time to apply the agent to the map. Hmm, let's see. Aha, uh -huh, got it. Well, this is interesting. If you say I have to kill more, one more skeleton. <laughs> I do like the responses we've get, but let's stick with what now? What now? We've got a good news, bad news, and more good news situation. Okay, what's the good? The good news is that the hidden chamber is directly beneath the guild. Yeah, it's in that cave behind us. So, not very far to go there. And the bad news. In addition to the agent revealing the map, a note was also revealed. It says the chamber is guarded by a vengeful spirit. Oh, we can take care of that. Impervious to damage from steel or any man-made weapon. Uh, crap. Never mind. I can't take care of that. <laughs> so, we can't get to the treasure. Not necessarily. That's where the extra good news comes in. Let me guess. There's a... Spirit Blade, Jesus. And the note also mentions a weapon in the hidden chamber. Oh, in the hidden chamber, referred to as the Spirit Blade. Okay, so it's in there. Oh, thank God. We don't have to go to another island. Okay, so how do I get to the chamber? Shortly after I took over as guild leader, we discovered a strange door. When we opened it, we found a small cave hall and then what appeared to be a dead end. Now you think there's more to it? Precisely. We figured it must have been used for storage at some point and then abandoned. I didn't look into it further, but with the newfound information on the map, I'm guessing its entrance is somewhere beyond that door. I want you to go and investigate. So where's the door now? Cave behind us, me. Cave behind us. <laughs> it lies just beyond the locked room, or lo uh, beyond the locked door. <laughs> Here, take this key and you'll be able to get in. This is your final test. If you manage to find the hidden chamber and defeat the vengeful ghost with the spirit blade, you'll be promoted to Warder of the Marauders Guild? Really? Warder is the name we're going with? Okay, fair. The highest honor we can bestow outside of Guild Leader. Why can't I take your job? I was actually a little bit hoping we'd become the Guild Leader of the Scholars Guild with what happened previously, but nope. Nope, we just became, what was it, a journeyman? Which isn't even a very high rank. But, okay, warder here, I guess. I'll find the weapon and defeat the spirit. Good luck, you'll need it. I probably will. All right, they took out the embalming agent, gave a uh, guild chamber key as well as... Oh, holy crap, I have a lot of things in here. What? <laughs> I actually did talk to the guild merchant uh, before starting the episode and sold a lot of my things, but... um, Huh. Huh. Most of these I know. Okay. Sturdy table. <laughs> rusty lamp. Post. Oh, I was about to say, we already know a rusty lamp. That's a posted one. Everything else we know. Literally everything else we know. Jesus. Okay. 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 Let's open this one, though. All right. A oh, beautiful Swabby's hatchet. I don't imagine that's going to be too great. Nah. <laughs> God, for a blue chest, that wasn't very impressive. We only even got, like, two, uh, potions out of the whole deal. I, well, before we go into said chamber over there, I'm gonna go sell all these recipes I have. <laughs> I didn't realize I had so many. Where did we get them all? I mean, clearly from loot, but still. Let me see what you got here, buddy. Okay, there we go. And, yeah, everything. Yeah, every one of these I got. Oh! Did we just get that and I didn't notice when we opened the chest? Or was that there and I missed it? Well, either way, we'll keep that. Two ancient key recipes. Yeah, that's about right. Hmm? 
Ouch. It didn't pop up a thing over here, so I was really confused. <laughs> <laughs> to go off it for a moment. All right, cool. We got a Sirens Bow. I mean, it's a common, so I'm not going to make it, but let's learn it anyways. All right. Let us... Do, 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 do. Yeah, did I miss that, or did we just get that and I didn't realize? Beautiful Sirens Bow. I'll see. Where are arrows stored? <laughs> you know, I could just get out my bow to look. 26. Granted, we're fighting something that's impervious to man-made materials. Bow's probably not going to help me. All right, never mind. <laughs> Let's find the hidden chamber. Uh, all right. Down we go. I mean, obviously this place. Also, was it lit up before? I don't remember it having torches for light. Did they just pop that in to show you? Yo, over here. Ooh. Mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember there being torches. Let's actually turn on our lantern. There we are. And yeah, head on in. Wrong button. There we are. Hey, we are finally allowed in this place. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so find the hidden chamber. I mean, we're just going to have to, like, smash this down, right? Yup. <laughs> One hit! One hit! Uh, also, did my light go off? There it goes. Yeah, it went off. Huh. Oh, no. Teleporters. Oh, boy. It's going to be like... Oh! Quest updated the spirit blade. Find the spirit blade. Okay, fair enough. It's gonna be like those uh that tower, isn't it, where we have to find the right sequence of teleporters? Well, let's loot first some butter that you really shouldn't trust. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Where's... Ah, skeletons. Cool, 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 cool. Well, let's use these first. Oh! Oh, these aren't... Te what? So every time we've seen these orbs, they've been teleporters until we get here. Weird and inconsistent. Okay, fair enough. Well, through here. That's a little disappointing, actually. Why would it suddenly change things on us? Hello, skeleton. Got him. Okay, that looks like the more dangerous area where we've probably got to fight the thing. I mean, come on, look at the colors back there. Obviously, that's going to be a boss area. Plus, yeah, I need a key. All right. Well, let's grab these. Not that bowl, apparently. <laughs> Loot everything. All right, so it's looking like we're probably not even going to be able to get into that room until we find the sword that we can use to defeat the spirit. That seems like a poorly designed trap for guarding your treasure. <laughs> Where you have to go find the means to destroy the, the guardian of it first before you're in. Is that a skeleton there? It was! Not anymore. Well, I mean, he still is. He still continues to be a skeleton even after death. Well, re-death? <laughs> oh, oh, God, a lot of them in here. Hello, you. There's two of you there. Now, oh, crap, I'm going to pull both of them, aren't I? Well, maybe not. You're kind of going far away. All right, I'm going to shoot this dude who's just standing there. Hey, ooh, he's an archer. Why do the archers run towards me? <laughs> That defeats the point of being an archer. Oh, boy. All right. AI, folks. Gotta love it. All right. All right. Oh, man. We got a big cave here. All right. Shoot that dude. He might be too far away. Nope. And, you know, I'll get a hit on him. Don't want to use all of my, uh, all my things. Okay. Well, we got a gate over here. But first, nope, can't get those bowls either. Let's check over this way for this gate. Oh, God, and another path over here. All right, and it's going to be one of those I can only open from the other side. I'm not seeing a thing, but I'm guessing. All right, we're already over here. Let's go this way. What do we got? Yeah, this is going to be big. I guess the Marauder's Guild does seem to be, like, the largest and most thought-out quest lines we currently have at the moment. So, this being a large place for things... Oh, hello, you. Hello, you. Let's, uh, get some damage on him with a bow first. Oh, yeah. And then blade. 
Charge it up. Ooh, I charged up and still didn't do much. Okay, well, kill the guardian. There we are. Guard cap recipe. Ooh. All right, that's new. Let's check around before we check up in that chest up there. What do we got? Any crawl spaces? Hmm. No, not seeing any. Nope, oh, forgot to grab that potion there. Oh, yeah, I should probably take some potions that'll help me with the rest of today. Yeah, we should do that. <laughs> Again, we have so many. Uh, dexterity and constitution drink. Uh, nope. Uh, three strength drink. Here's poison to agility. Sure, why not? Uh, yep, more health and constitution. Sweet. And more dexterity. Sweet. <laughs> we have so many, we might as well. Ooh, hello. Nope, nothing there. Nothing over here either. Alright, to the fancy chest. Hello. Oh, there's also a switch behind. <laughs> Ooh, am I going to have enough ancient keys? I'm kind of worried that maybe this might be a place with like multiple ancient keys in here. I've made all the ones I can right now. All right, so maybe that gate down here it opened, perhaps? Let's find out. Yep, it was this one. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, bananas, nice. Who's in love with banana? Mm-hmm. Ooh, chest. All right. Nice. Nothing too fancy, but not bad. Yeah, I'm not I'm gonna ignore any mining right now. We need to just focus on getting the spirit blade and then oh hi you, you know I'm just gonna fight you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just smash, smash, smash. Screw trying to uh block and obviously fail like I always do. <laughs> hey, leveled up. I don't need him to use a potion. Sweet. All right, nothing back there. Oh, hello. Another ominous purple glow. Oh, hey, the spirit blade. <laughs> I assume. All right. There's definitely going to be something in here, right? Well, nice. We've entered the spirit chamber, and we've got the pretty sound and everything. Let's loot around it first. I have a feeling something's going to spawn in here to try and kill us. Let's get that and that. Ooh. And the inner sanctum key. None of them spawned yet. All right, note. Regret has come upon me. I have dared to touch the blade given to me by the seer, but I could not bear the burden it bestowed upon me. I will seal this chamber for eternity. May its secrets die with me. It did not. <laughs> All right, spirit blade. Hey, still nothing spawned. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the spirit blade. Chances goes with dexterity, spirit's burden, a strange glowing cutlass. This blade has a chance to deal extra damage and slow an enemy's movement speed. I mean, we're obviously gonna equip it. Yeah. Holy crap, that glows. <laughs> I mean, I mean, of course it does. Oh, I miss my life steal. Did not. You know what? I forgot about you. Hmm. Mm-hmm. But which necklace do I replace? No, I like the dexterity on you. You already have leech. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Ash walk Ashwalkers one. I mean, I like that I don't get hurt when I step in campfires, but at the same time, this will be more useful today, I think. Alright, man, this thing really glows. Also, hold on a moment. Wrong button. Oh, yeah, it is. It is emanating light. Neat. I mean, not as much light as my lantern, but... <laughs> cool, let's roll. All right, there was more to this cave area than what was there, like up that way. So let's, let's explore more. 
I'm amazed we actually found, we went the right direction for the, uh, to find the sword. Straight away. Hi you, I'm gonna kill you with this fancy blade. You know, you're not really doing that much damage, honestly. I mean, more certainly than my other blade, but alright, well, it's dead now. <laughs> Ooh, and just a normal crappy old pirate cutlass. <laughs> uh, lovely. Alright, get you. There was a lot of stuff in that barrel, dang. Alright, nothing else of value up here. I think there was one other offshoot in the main chamber area. Back here. I think. Yeah, so, oh, never, never mind. Never mind. I guess that was the offshoot. Wait, hold on a moment. Did we ever travel back that way? I don't think we did. Okay. It looks like it's a dead end, though. Oh, no, a campfire. I might burn myself now. <laughs> yeah, it actually does look like a dead end. Well, let's loot the stuff. And there we go. Oh, hello. Just ancient key recipe again. All right, looks like there might be something up there if there's a little bit of a jumping puzzle. So, well, really not a puzzle, just a single thing to step off. <laughs> I might as well. I came up here. <laughs> uh, I came up here. Might as well grab something from it. And there is nothing else. Was that a th no, that doesn't look like a thing we can crawl in. All right, yeah, wow. It was just for silver. Nope. Okay, well, yeah, back to the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. It's not on my say my uh my wheel. Spear blade. Yeah, not going to be able to use the bow because spirit. So let's just find and defeat the vengeful spirit with our fancy new sword. Let's see what happens. There we go, we use the Inner Sanctum Key. Alright, what do we got? Also, let's make sure we're well fed before this. Yeah, there we go. Don't got any normal food, but there's some pirate rations. A couple of bananas. And boom, there we go, we should be at 100. Nice. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Didn't really have to find it, now did we? <laughs> They're just there. Hi, you. You got any friends? No, are we gonna talk first? You don't seem to be attacking me. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> Vengeful spirit. All right, you know what? I actually gotta try something real quick. And... Huh. It did nothing. Yeah, it did nothing. I just, I just wanna try, I'm just curious, I'm just curious. Yup, immune. It's immune to everything. Hey, we got our leech though. Oh God, I'm getting hit while I'm just standing here equipping things. <laughs> Thank God for all my leech and auto heals, etc. Oh, I pulled... Oh, Jesus, I pulled out the wrong thing. I meant to hit four. Oh, back to here. <laughs> this fight is... Oh, thanks to my heals, though. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need to worry. But boy, that was probably the worst fight we've ever done because I kept doing the wrong thing. Ooh, ectoplasm. That's a new thing. Sapphire. All right, before we open the big fancy chest... God bless all of our leech and lifesteal and all that stuff. So otherwise, we probably would have died. <laughs> Accidentally pulling up my sextant when trying to hit the strong potion instead. Oh. And the changing of the weapons to test things out. Alright. Charming Ranger's Bow. Wait, was that really it? Really? <laughs> I was expecting some, like, seriously more impressive treasure. I mean, yeah, I'm not even going to use it because it doesn't have dexterity. A bow that doesn't have dexterity is useless, in my opinion. Considering they scale with dexterity. Yeah, no, that's useless and no good talents either. Wow, really? That was it, huh? I got drifter's shoes. We'll learn that. Ancient guard. Oh, yeah, the guard's cap recipe we found earlier. All right, we'll learn that. Yeah, that was actually come kind of disappointing. That was all that was in that? Why? Why was that so important to protect? <laughs> you have a freaking vengeful spirit guardian protecting the place, and that's it? All right, I am disappointed. Okay, well... 
back to Victor. That was actually very disappointing. <laughs> the blade was the most cool thing, but I'm not going to use it once we're done. I like I like my lifesteal. I like all the healing items we have. <laughs> hey, Victor, how's it going? By the way, here's the cool glowing blade I found. It's also kind of annoyingly glowing. I mean, this is... That is bright. Let's talk. You finally returned? Is it done? Is the spirit defeated and the chamber open? Yeah, yeah, it's done, man, but there's... I mean, I looted all that was down there and it wasn't that impressive. Yeah, it's done, though. I never doubted you for a second. I now award you with a new rank. You are a warder of the Marauder's Guild now. Wear the title proudly. We will begin the work of excavating the hidden chamber for any valuables soon, thanks to you. Yeah, there's really nothing else. Is that all, then? Ha, huh, of course not. Titles are good and all, but we really are after golden glory, are we not? I mean, I would think so, but there wasn't a lot of it down in that hidden chamber, which I would have thought old guild would have had more of. All right, but oh well, here a little something as our way of saying thanks. It's a recipe for a unique ship, figured. Only is sailed by members of the guild. Any tapestry to go with it. Honestly, I'm actually a little bit more excited about the tapestry. <laughs> Sail it with honor. All right, is that it? Good to see you. Good to see you, Warder. Yep, we're done with the, the with the Marauders Guild. I called them the Thieves Guild. Okay, Marauders Tapestry. Definitely learned that. Marauder Vel <gasps> thirty knots. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God, that's amazing. And treasure chest. Ooh. Ooh, sparkling new thing. More recipes though. Freebooters Cutlass. Interesting. Already know the Iron Torch thing. Uh, and there was... There's the right one. A sparkling regent's amulet. You know, considering I do use a blade, that actually would be handy. Hmm. But then I'd have to make a choice again. Do I want... Ah, oh, the leech. We did just gain a new one with leech, though. And this would give me a lot more strength. And more damage with my sword. Yeah, let's do that and more constitution. Yeah, yeah, we're going to replace the Gleaming Strikers necklace. Oh, it saddens me to lose one of our leech items. <laughs> let's see, what do we got now? We got leech on the hat. We got leech on the spotless, uh, spotless pirate shirt. Uh, and then we got retribution on that one. Leech on the parts necklace. And, of course, our usual sword has the lifesteal. God, I love it. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what we need to make the boat. Why am I leaving to do that? We can literally just look in here. Uh, is Oh my god, it actually is a blue boat. So, yeah, I was confused when we got the, the Scholar's Guild boat because it ended up just being a uncommon, despite the recipe showing that it was rare. But yeah, 30 knots. Oh god, what are you going to need? Sturdy lumber, silk, oh Jesus. Gold, we got the gold. Sparkle, sparkling sandpaper, what the hell is that? We can make dark resin. I don't think we can make silk and whatnot yet. Oh no. What the hell, sparkling sandpaper though? Oh no. Gold lace silk. Uh, sparkling sandpaper, come to me. Where are you? Up oh, the silk. Okay, uh, 30 tailoring. We may. Hmm. What is our tailoring? We'll check that in a moment. We might be able to make this. Oh, silver and hardened sandpaper. Okay, okay. We, we might be able to make this boat. I mean, I'll have to do a lot of work off cam to make the sturdy timber. Forgot to check the sturdy timber. We did get a lot of, uh... Oh, I doubt it's the age logs. Well, back down to the S's. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Sturdy timber. Ooh. Oh my god, yeah, we might be able to make this. We might be able to make this, like, right now. Screw sticking by the shop. I was gonna go there, but no. Let's go outside and spawn our... Our uh, good boat. Well, our big boat. And let's go see. Because, yeah, 30 freaking knots. Oh, my God. Yes. Two more knots faster than our current good boat. Well, our current fast boat. I still think of my large ship as my best ship because it's large and awesome. But. 
Let us and place. All right, let's go check. Let's go check if we can make these things. Oh my god, I may have to do some work off camera. That's probably what I'll end up doing just to make sure we got it all. But I think. Oh, you know what? I forgot to check, which I should have. What are my skills with those things? Oh boy. All right, all right, all right. Oh no. We need thirty. We need 30. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it took me so long to level those things last time. Oh, I don't know if I care now. Oh, that's what I was really worried about. Oh, no. Well, let's actually see real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did it need, like, cloth-wise? Because maybe if we make enough of the... Um... Marauder's Vessel, eh? So I'll need 10 of the strong cloth, the fine cloth, to then make into that. Alright, well, so we need four more linen. And then you are going to need... Okay, it's getting us closer there, and it was the gold laced, wasn't it, that we need? Oh, wait, no. Oh, God, was it? Was it? Oh, no. No, silk. Silk. Okay, silk. Thank God. Uh, can we make the silk right now? I doubt it. Yep, that's 30. Okay, so, God, okay, I'm gonna have to level this up more. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here, and off cam, I'm gonna work towards getting this stuff all sorted out, because, uh, yeah, we're gonna need to make a lot of things for this. Oh, God, I need more sand. Oh, I'm gonna need more iron. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit. So, hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today and come back for the next winter. Maybe we'll have a fancy new boat. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. Well, have a good one.